Hi, Chef Joe with Healthy Kids Inc. and today we're going to be making a chicken spring roll. So, we have a large saute pan here with some safflower oil, which can handle really high heat. Uh, we're going to crank this up to about medium high. It's been slowly heating up um, already. And we're going to begin by sauteing some ginger and garlic, which have been minced. Next thing, we want to go in with our carrots. And we have some cabbage. Sprinkle of salt. Some fresh cracked black pepper. All right, now to this, we have some noodles which have already been cooked. We've just chopped them up. our noodles and we have our chicken which has been chopped Okay, we've got all that incorporated together. We have oyster sauce and hoisin sauce. All right, we want to combine all of this. off the heat. We're going to allow this mixture to cool now because this is the filling for our spring roll. We're going to let that set and cool. All right, we're now ready to assemble our spring rolls uh, before we fry them. So I have a spring roll wrapper here which at first glance looks a lot like plastic. It uh, does not feel edible at all. But uh, the trick to it is, is actually introducing a little bit of water or you could use chicken stock if you wanted to. But I've got a, just a shallow dish. You could even um, do a, just a, a plate as long as it can hold a little bit of water. And then you just want to dip the sheet inside. And you kind of have to work quickly at this point because once this soaks up all this water, it gets kind of sticky. So we're going to lay that out on our board. We're going to put some filling on one end like that going to roll the sides I'm gonna roll this up as well you can kind of crimp the ends through and then we're going to brush the outside with the beaten egg. All right, you want to continue that process until you've used all of your filling and all of your wrap. All right, at this point we're ready to begin frying our spring rolls. You want to carefully lay these into the oil. The oil should come up a little ways on your rolls, but not completely submerged.
You want to keep turning these just to make sure that they're cooking evenly. Be very careful because you've got hot oil involved. Okay, so once they've crisped on all sides, you can set them out on paper towels. You're looking for a light golden brown color when you pull them out. You can hear that they're nice and crunchy. All right, at this point, you want to continue uh, this process until you've used all of your filling and all of your uh, spring roll wrappers. And then you want to drain them on the paper towels after you get them nice and crispy on all sides. You want to let them sit there for probably five minutes or so, cool down just a little bit, plate them up, and serve. So we'll show you the finished product in just a couple of minutes.